Hi and welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Today is Thursday, February 5th, 2015. My name is Jennifer and I am your Thursday vlogger. This week's topic, we are talking about weight loss versus weight maintenance. What does that mean for you and is one easier than the other? Well, the weight loss, I would say, is like the most minute but most exciting part of your journey. Um, it's where all of your very first NSVs happen. You know, it's so exciting to see the sizes go down, to be able to shop in the normal stores, to cross our legs, to um, fly on an airplane without a seatbelt extender. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but the weight loss portion of our journey, to me, that that is like the smallest portion of our journey. I mean, I lost the majority of my weight in the first year post-op. Maintaining it? I'm 34 years old. I've got the rest of my life to maintain that loss. That's, you know, that's where the meat and potatoes are at, <laughs> is maintenance. And that's the difference for me. The, the weight loss, I mean, you have to be compliant in your first year. You have to, and you have to live your life of compliance. I chose to be very compliant in my first year post-op. I'm protein first, vitamins, no alcohol, water intake, exercise, you named it. I followed my doctor's rules and then some. I did my own research and discovered what worked best for my body. Um, after I reached my, I guess, maintenance goal, I lost the majority of my weight, I decided that everything in moderation was okay. And that's worked for me. I lived a year after I reached maintenance, um, enjoying life a little bit. I, mean, I enjoyed life the first year, don't get me wrong. The first year was very exciting, but I started to allow, um, you know, life to happen. <laughs> everything wasn't always about weight loss surgery and everything related. If that makes any sense to you guys at all. Um, was one easier than the other? You know, none of us would have had weight loss surgery if losing weight was easy. Am I right? Um, losing weight is not easy at all, but I would say in the grand scheme of things, it was easier to lose my weight than it is to maintain that loss. Um, maintain, maintenance is going to be for life. It's a constant, it's, it's a daily struggle, not just constant, it is a daily struggle. I'm gonna go into the next question. It is, how many times in your life have you actually reached a weight loss goal and maintained it longer than it took you to drop the weight? Once, and I'm living it. It wasn't until I had my weight loss surgery that I was able to lose the weight and maintain my loss. I've lost weight before. I mean, I grew up a big girl. Um, granted, after high school, I gained most of my weight then. I gained, what, 150 pounds? I don't know. I gained a lot of weight. And I would lose 30 pounds here and there it would always come back, and then some. It brought some friends with it. <laughs> um, losing weight was very difficult. I needed this tool. I I knew that. It took it took a long time to convince me. Um, you know, my husband brought the idea of having weight loss surgery to me years and years ago, and I poo pooed the idea. I thought, you know, I'm too young. I can I can lose this weight on my own. And then he brought it up again a few years after and I decided to really research it because guess what in that few years time I gained after my research I realized this was this is exactly what I needed and it's completely changed my life it's con it's changed my mindset the way that I look at food the way that I treat food and exercise I'm happy with my choice. Um, so yeah, it. this is the only time I've ever been able to maintain a loss 
longer than it took me to lose it. I It took me a year to lose it. I've kept it off for almost two. So, I mean, that's exciting, but I've got many, many more years to go. And that kind of leads me to the next piece of this um, topic. What piece of key advice would you offer to someone who just hit weight maintenance after weight loss surgery? My advice to you is to never lose the fear of gaining the weight. Once you lose that fear, that's when you get comfortable and you start to give in to, um, you know, little snacks here and there, eating out more and more, not focusing on protein first. You stop weighing in, stop weighing your food and journaling. No, 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 no. One thing I have um, really set in my mind is that my obesity is just in remission. It could come back at any time. And damned if I'm gonna let that happen the best things that we can do for ourselves is to continue to have our weekly weigh-ins, continue to be mindful of what we're eating, protein first, vitamins, water, um, exercise. You know, you're, you're always and forever going to be a weight loss surgery patient. That's just, that's fact. That's reality. That's something that you have to accept. We will never be quote unquote normal people. And that's okay because guess what? we're able to maintain our loss. How exciting is that? I don't know about you guys, but I'm forever grateful for the tool that I have and I will take full advantage of it. Um, so again, my advice to you is to always keep the fear, keep the fear in, in the foremost of your mind that that weight can come back. That'll help keep compliant, so. That's what I have for you guys this week. Stay tuned tomorrow for another episode and come back and see me next Thursday. Have a great rest of your week, you guys. Bye.